Hey guys, welcome to a brand new SciPy tutorial series where I'll be covering some of the basics of SciPy. So, what is SciPy? SciPy is a Python library that is used for scientific computing. It is used in many common tasks in science and engineering, such as optimization, linear algebra, integration, interpolation, and etc. So, if you're trying to do something like let's say optimization instead of writing your own python code it is actually a lot better to use scipy since scipy will make your code a lot shorter and it'll also be a lot faster since the internal implementation of scipy is in fortran c and c++ which is a lot faster than python so scipy will be able to perform these tasks very very quickly all right, so yeah, you should use SciPy instead of writing your own Python code to achieve some common tasks in science and engineering. So now the prerequisite knowledge for learning SciPy. So first you will need to have a basic understanding of Python programming. And it is also good if you have some experience in creating Python projects. Next, you should have experience in NumPy. So NumPy is a numerical computing library that SciPy is built on top of. So if you're going to use SciPy, you're also going to use a lot of NumPy. It'll be a lot easier to use SciPy if you un have a basic understanding of NumPy. And yeah, in my following tutorial videos, I'll be using NumPy a lot as well. Next is matplotlib. So matplotlib is a data visualization library which will allow us to plot very simple graphs in Python. This will help us visualize SciPy's algorithms really well and it also allows us to understand these algorithms very, very well. So even though matplotlib is not absolutely necessary to use SciPy, it is a good idea to learn matplotlib to visualize SciPy's algorithms. Plus, uh, Matplotlib is not a really difficult library to learn uh, since it's only used to create very simple graphs. Uh, you don't need to know anything too advanced about Matplotlib to do this tutorial series. So next is the installation. So first you need to ensure that pip is working correctly in your computer. So pip is basically a tool that allows you, allows you to install external Python modules in your computer. So to make sure that pip is working, you need to add Python to your path. You need to go and edit your environment variables. There are many tutorials in the internet that will allow you to set up pip correctly. So I'll not be going through that in this video. So once pip is working correctly in fact you can just see if pip is working correctly by going to your terminal so i'm right now in my terminal i'll go pip list so you should see that there should be a list all right it shouldn't say something like pip is not a valid command uh, if you're getting that that means your pip is not working correctly make sure that you get some sort of table uh, and if you do get a table, that means your pip is working correctly. All right, so if your pip is working correctly, you need to first type the following command, which is pip install scipy. So this will install scipy in our computer. So as I said, scipy uses numpy as well. So when you're installing scipy, it also automatically install NumPy. So you can see here that it's installing NumPy and SciPy. Okay, so you see that SciPy has been installed correctly. So next you also have to install matplotlib, which will be used to plot simple graphs. So to do that, we'll simply type pip install matplotlib. So matplotlib also uses numpy and yeah when you install matplotlib numpy will also be installed automatically all right so 
I've successfully installed matplotlib as well. So now we want to check our installation and make sure it's working correctly. So we need first open a Python file. So I'll go to my explorer. My code editor here is VS Code, which is a very popular code editor. So here you see I have a bunch of files and here I have a simple Python file. And the code, I'll just copy paste it into hello.py. Okay, so you can see that it has installed, it has printed out the SciPy version, so which is 1.6.3, uh, which is the version I'll be using in this tutorial series. Okay, so that's so we have checked our installation and you should get a version number. If you get an error, then your SciPy hasn't installed correctly, and you should probably try to repeat your steps, the step installation steps here, and also make sure that your pip is working correctly. If you do get a version number in your terminal, that means your SciPy has been installed correctly, and I'll simply give a brief overview of SciPy. So SciPy is organized into multiple sub packages that cover different scientific computing domains. So here are a few of the sub packages. So first is cluster, which is which has clustering algorithms, constants, which store physical and mathematical constants. Another popular one is integrate, which allows you to do integration and also allows you to solve ordinary differential equations. Interpolation is also a very useful sub package. All right, there's linear algebra, which is very useful. Optimization algorithms. And then there's also statistical distribution and functions and special functions as well. So I'll be covering the most the most widely used sub packages in SciPy. I may not cover everything, but I'll, I'll try to cover the most commonly used and the most important ones in this tutorial series. And I'll also be making videos in, on each sub package. All right, so this is a list of sub packages in SciPy. So here are my references. So yeah, in, on my channel, I'll have a playlist on all the SciPy tutorial videos. So yeah, you can go check out my channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, then please consider giving a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.